is just great. Um, so we love both areas, and we tell buyers that all the time. Like, you can't go wrong. <laughs> all right. Hello again. <laughs> Here we grow again. That's what the that's an old uh, corporate slogan. Like, slogan. But anyway, um, so welcome to Drive Time. We are. Uh, this is uh, Cheryl and I'm Bill uh, McKinney with the uh, with the uh, Sarasota Homes Group, and just wanted to uh, you know kind of give you an update on what we're uh, doing today. We've got a lot. Well, we actually have a lot planned. Um, we actually did another Drive Time video just a little while ago, where we were talking about our plans, uh, but. We wanted to have a conversation about a topic that people ask us about all the time, and that is, um, where are the really nice places to live, and what's the difference between uh, Lakewood Ranch and Palmer Ranch? Mm -hmm. So we figured we'd, uh, you know, while we're driving to our appointment, we talk a little bit about that because it's a conversation we have a lot. So. Um, so Lakewood Ranch first. Lakewood Ranch is a master plan community. It's um, voted the, the number one master plan community in the country and there's a there's a reason. It's gorgeous. Um, it's it's very suburbia. It's very well put together. It's very well planned. Um, it, it's beautiful. It, mm -hmm. It's like a, living in a park-like setting. Uh, there's over 15,000 homes. There are going to be 30,000 homes. Uh, before it's done, uh, they started building that in uh, the 95. late 90s. I would say mid mid to yeah. late 90s. 95, 98. And uh, it is still building out today. Uh, it just yep. keeps growing and expanding. Uh, mostly, the growth's happening to the north and uh, to the east uh, in Lakewood Ranch. So uh, that's uh, where we're heading now on the appointment now. But it's a super popular community. They've got neighborhoods for all ages, they got 55 plus communities, uh, gated communities, golf course communities, uh, you pretty much name it, they have it, really nice condos. Um, yeah. So, you know, that's uh, Lakewood Ranch. And then the other area that people talk about a lot with us is Palmer Ranch. Now we actually live in Palmer Ranch, mm -hmm. but we used to live really close to Lakewood Ranch. So Cheryl, why don't you kind of go into why, you know, talk about Palmer Ranch and why we moved there. Um, well, <laughs> we moved to Palmer Ranch. There was a lot of construction going on with the new mall up there, and and you know we were worried about traffic and congestion. So we thought we would head a little more south, get a little closer to Siesta Key, because that's one of the things you have to decide what kind of lifestyle you want. Right. If you're talking Lakewood Ranch versus Palmer Ranch, are you a beach person? Then maybe Palmer Ranch is the thing. If you really want to be right on top of restaurants and shopping and all that kind of stuff and, and you're okay with being, you know, a 45 minute drive to the beach, um, then Lakewood Ranch could be for you. So um, we, we ended up making the choice to move to Palmer Ranch and, and they have really good schools there, which we needed for our daughter. And um, not that Lakewood Ranch doesn't have good schools, they no, have they great have, schools, have but schools it too. was just we were worried about the congestion and then... And then we found ourselves being up in Lakewood Ranch <laughs> probably four times a week. So that did, kind of didn't quite work out. <laughs> we, our business, I, we sell a lot in, in uh, Lakewood Ranch. We live in Palmer Ranch. We sell a lot there too. But we sell a lot in Lakewood Ranch. And, uh, you know, it's funny because we used to live really close. Yeah. And, you know, we're still probably like 20 minutes away. But it's we spend a lot of time heading north on uh, yeah, I-75. Plus, there's a lot, you know, like Cheryl said, the, the UTC Mall is there, and uh, it is awesome. I mean... There's a lot going on. It's an awesome area. That, yeah. There's so much shopping and restaurants yeah, and the things mall, to do. and Tiger Woods built his Pop Stroke there, which is like a really kind of cool miniature golf course without any obstacles. It's all natural obstacles. Really cool. Um, but anyway, the area is just great. Um, so we love both areas, and we tell buyers that all the time. Like, you can't go wrong. Um, there's some distinct differences between Palmer Ranch and Lakewood Ranch. You know, Cheryl, you touched on it with the beach. If you're mm -hmm. a beach person, uh, you know, Palmer Ranch is probably going to be better for you. It's yeah. just closer. Um, you know, we live six miles to Siesta Key Beach, you know, whereas Lakewood Ranch, that's going to be a, you know, 25, 30 minute drive. Easily. You know, so yeah. easily. Well, depending yeah. on where you are in Lakewood Ranch. If right. you're in the south, West part and Waterside, you're of course going to be closer to Lido than you, if you're up in the northeast section, whereas Ario and Star Farms is building, 
it's it's going to be further from from right. those types of things for sure so you know, but the so other part is Palmer Ranch doesn't have as many new construction communities because Palmer Ranch is um, west of 75 it it is smaller it doesn't have as much land as Lakewood Ranch does so you're not going to have you know the choices in new construction that Lakewood Ranch is going to offer for sure there are some new construction options um, you know there are newer neighborhoods right you know DR Horton just finished up um, Promenade Estates um, Talon Preserve is being built uh, that's a Pulte uh, mm -hmm. community uh, that's still being built today and that's yep. gonna be a really really nice community a, a thousand plus homes super amenities you know they're gonna have a restaurant they're gonna have an arcade they're gonna have all pickleball tests I mean everything that you could possibly imagine it's gonna be amazing but you're right there aren't a lot of new construction options there so if someone's really hell-bent on new construction Lakewood Ranch might be the better option if you're really into the downtown and uh, the beach scene then Palmer Ranch is a great option because it is a little bit closer. Right. But then um, there's so much in between. Oh, yeah. There's, I mean, there's a ton of stuff <laughs> in between, too. Like, these are just, like, two of the common areas yeah. that people, they see it on YouTube or they see it on our website. They ask about it. You know, each one's a master plan community. Each one has multiple neighborhoods. Uh, it's just Lakewood Ranch is literally double the size, I would say, than, than Palmer Ranch and just growing and continuing to grow. So, yeah. You know, there's that. Um, you know, another distinguishing factor would probably be uh, taxes, CDD. Um, we actually did a YouTube video on what a CDD is. Uh, we'll put a link to it in this video. But uh, basically, a CDD is, is called a Community Development District. Uh, Lakewood Ranch can call it a Stewardship District. They have a couple different names for it. But essentially what it is, it's a, it's a tax assessment. It's an extra uh, tax assessment uh, on Lakewood Ranch. Um, now, Palmer Ranch doesn't have that, so that is a distinguishing factor. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a difference in taxes. Uh, you'll notice that Palmer Ranch taxes are typically a little bit lower by a couple, you know, $1,500 to $2,000 or more. Um, just uh, depends on the neighborhood. Yeah, that, it varies by neighborhood. Yeah, it, it depends on the neighborhood. However, um, you know, if you're really looking at, you know, minimizing your HOA fees, if you're looking to minimize your taxes, uh, but you want a nice suburbia feel, well, I mean, Palmer Ranch is great for that. I mean, you're you're close to the beach, you're closer to downtown, and you have lower taxes. Lakewood Ranch is just, I mean, just a massive community with lots of different options. I mean, like you said, yep. 55 plus. You know, Palmer Ranch really doesn't have a 55 plus uh, neighborhood. Uh, but, you know, there's just, it depends what you're looking for. Right. And, uh, you know, also, you know, if there's anybody that commutes to Tampa or spends a lot of time up that way, St. Yeah. Petersburg, right. you know, Palmer Ranch probably isn't going to be where you want to be. Right. Uh, You're going to spend a lot of time on 75. Oh, yeah. And 75, I mean, it, it's great until it's not. I mean, if there's an accident there, oh, uh, yeah. It can and be there's fun. a lot of construction going on right now. They're, they're trying to expand these roadways, but right now we're in a... We're in a pain of the painful time. The painful growing <laughs> stage. They call yes. That. They're putting these divergent diamonds in, and we'll get a, we'll get into that too at some point. But uh, the whole idea behind it is to keep uh, traffic flowing where you don't have to have a stoplight in order to get uh, right onto an intersection interchange. So it's you know it improves the flow of yeah. traffic. That's really the at idea. At least they're not that. roundabouting seventy five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the roundabouts. We just went through one. I know. I know. There's roundabouts everywhere in Sarasota. In theory, roundabouts are great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're, except. They're, except. You got to know what lane to be in. You got to know where you're going. You got to. Yeah, you, you need to know. Got to know the circles, and 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 each of them are individual, and if it's oh. Yeah. It can be quite dangerous. I'm just How do saying. How you really feel about that, sir? I'm just uh, saying you you've you've got to be careful and. Yeah. And, well, a lot of people don't yeah. know that, like, if you're a snowbird and you only come down once a year, um, you know, you're gonna be surprised by a few of these roundabouts. And, yeah. Uh, you know that one they put in the, you know, the the center of uh, where Gulf Street kind of connects mm -hmm. with 41, and I mean that one. People have no idea what they're doing on that. No. Um, the jury's still out on it. I'm really hoping it works. And it's not fully open yet. So it, there's still a lot of traffic back up and things because they're not quite done 
right. with it yet. So I'm <laughs> I am hoping for the best that it's it's really going to be a good thing. Cheryl got a compliment from one of our clients the other day, though. He said that you handled that circle masterfully, <laughs> is what he said. Well, he was I'm the driver <laughs> in this group, so <laughs> yes, you are. I get us where we need to go. Yes, and so, I try to do it without occupying the same space of anything else <laughs> well that is the goal <laughs> that is the goal is that the first law of physics it is. two things can't occupy the same space uh, well, at the same time yeah i know till that's all yeah. state or state farm right? <laughs> um but anyway so you know those are just you know just a real quick video we wanted to kind of talk about the differences um you know we, we plan on doing a more formal video where we can show you know these screenshots and maps and all kinds of stuff like that but you know, the end all be all is they're both great areas. You can't go wrong with either one. It's really just what's a better you know match for you and your lifestyle. And you know that's something that we help our clients with. You know, uh, trying to not only find the right home for them, but to find the right area to live. I mean, that's a super important part. And that's a part that new construction sales reps aren't going to tell you because they're there to sell their neighborhood. Uh, that's one of the advantages of working with a residential realtor even in your new construction yeah. is, is we give you the lowdown on areas as much as models and specific homes. So. Yeah, I think the one tip for people moving here is you really need to know what you want as far as lifestyle is concerned. Are you a beach person? Are, do you want tons of amenities? Or are you kind of the person that's more to yourself and that, that huge social scene is a little bit overwhelming? That's really good information because that will narrow down a lot of these areas. Is shopping really important to you? Are restaurants really important to you? It, it helps narrow everything down um, so you yeah. can just move in the right direction instead of spinning your wheels and seeing things that are ultimately not going to work. Right. So you got to know what kind of person you are and what you really want out of out of Florida and out of you know all of this. And that's what we do is is you know we talk with our clients and really get yeah, get to understand. We're kind of looking for lots right now, so <laughs> forgive us. Sorry, back up. They're not really marked, so we're kind of like navigating this uh, as an explorer. But anyway, um, that is uh, our drive it. time, I think, for today. So if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit like. We'd really appreciate it. It helps grow our little channel. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, if you need any help at all, reach out to us anytime. We're here for you. We'd love to learn more about what you're looking to do and see what we can do to help make it happen for you. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and on to the next. Thanks. Thanks.